What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com and make a purchase. Next time you guys also want to make a purchase, use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. Also on the same website, if you ever want to sell your coins, you click on the help center and click on the selling section. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're here to finally review Player of the Month, Mbappe. His card is a 92 rated Mbappe. You guys let me know in the comment section below if you guys decided to complete this SPC or not. We're looking at a card at 6 foot, high low work rate, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak flex acceleration type is controlled explosive with the right foot, 98 pace, 91 shooting, 82 passing, 93 dribbling. 79 physicality, he has rapid on plus, flare, travella, and quick step as well. If I'm not mistaken, I've been hearing a lot of rumors. I'm not sure if that's a confirmation, but they switched the plus from quick step plus to rapid plus on this player of the month, Mbappe. I could be wrong on that, but we're going to go ahead and give him the marksman chemistry style. Pace is already maxed out, finishing 99, shot power 95, long shots 92. Reactions 98, ball control goes up to 99, dribbling goes up to 99 as well. Strength goes up to 86 as well. Card is looking absolutely amazing. You guys already know how much I rate the Trailblazer Mbappe, the Gold Mbappe, the Inform Mbappe. I think he's a top three striker in the game. We're gonna have to see though if there's a main difference between this player of the month and the gold card. That is the big question. He is gonna be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie Skyline and we're gonna be playing in a 4-3-2-1. He's going to be playing as a solo striker right in front of that Rodrigo card. Now, by the time I drop this video, Mbappe is around 3.8 to 3.9 million coins if you're doing from scratch on both the PlayStation and Xbox. That's a lot of coins for an SPC in the month of November. We're going to play some games in Division Rivals and see the vibes with the card and see if he's worth it. All right, here we go again. Number Rivers is real wonky. Let's see what type of team he has. And that team is absolutely dog shit. Wow, except the tag. The tag's not that bad. All right, either this kid is a really bad defender or Mbappe's left stick dribbling is A1. That is a very good start to the video. Oh, this guy messed up. He didn't miss that finesse, that's tough. Oh, he's through. Yeah, he is through. No chance in catching up to him, and that is another good finish from Mbappe. We make it 2-1. to one. Is this guy going to leave the game? And he leaves the game because he wants nothing to do with Mbappe. So good start to the video. We're going to the next game right now. He's just way too quick, man. It's just a very tough to catch up to the card. And that was a good finish with the weak foot as well. So we do move on that. Nice. Good finish with the finesse style inside the box. We take that. Very good on the step over. Obviously, nobody's going to catch up to him. A1 left stick dribbling. He does miss that. That is tough, and I don't know what the fuck this kid just did, but we do take that goal. Yeah, the hour one dribbling from Mbappe is absolutely fire. And obviously, if you're a female, like, in this game trying to tackle the ball from Mbappe, unless it's a top tier one, you're not going to be able to take the ball off him. Ooh, that reverse elastico animation was fire and a good finish with that weak foot. So we do move on that once again. It's just way too fucking easy. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely disgusting. Good dribbling from the card. Oh, this guy fucked up. Cooked him with that reverse elastico animation. And a beautiful finish with the finesse style once again, man. This card is just cooking up. Nah, that left stick dribbling is just super, super clean and smooth. It's very tough to get the ball off him. It just literally sticks to his feet. 
So we are on a nice counterattack. Uh, we're just gonna wait for him to make this run. Yeah, Rofo had no chance on stopping us right there. And the step over this this card might actually have the best step overs in the game, along with R9. Ooh, nice little ticky tack inside the box, testing out that weak foot. Good finish with the weak foot, so we do love to see that. And this guy is most likely going to leave the game. We cooked BVD. Weak foot action. Oh my goodness. What a finish once again with that weak foot after cooking Van Dyke. We go with the R1 dribbling. Little. Nice little tiki tack inside the box and a good finish once again from the card. Where are you, Mbappe? Where are you? There you are. Oh, yeah. You already know. Once he performs that step over, ain't no catching up to him. There's just absolutely no catching up to this card, yeah, boys. It's impossible. All right, let's see, make that run. Good run. Wow, this guy is not defending that well. Yikes, but that's another good finish from Killian. All right, boys, and that concludes the player review for 92 rated player of the month, Killian Mbappe. Coming around 3.9, basically 4 million coins. If you're doing from scratch on the PlayStation and Xbox, 4.2 million coins on the PC if you're doing from scratch. That's a lot of coins for an SPC, like I said earlier in the video. We played four games with him, 16 goals, and zero assists. Also, confirmation from this SBC is that he went from Rocket Ship, aka Quick Step on Plus, to Rapid on Plus. So that's actually quite interesting. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this card is still a top five striker in the game. He's still, for me, a top three striker in the game. In my top 10 best strikers videos that I dropped, Yesterday, I believe it was, by the time I dropped this Mbappe video, I had Mbappe at number two. This player of the month, he's at number two for me. I think he's the second best striker in the game. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. For me, he's that good. He checks all the boxes when it comes to being a top tier and game attacker. This SBC, I'm not even messing with you guys. I'm not even trying to hype him up. This SBC will last you at least, at least until team of the season. I think he'll last you the whole year but at least until team of the season. This card is literally gonna be my striker until EAFC 25. I'm not even trolling with you guys, unless I pack like a team of the year Mbappe or some shit, right? But like I said earlier, he checks all the boxes. He basically has maxed out pace, insane finishing, 95 goes up to 99 with the marksman chemistry style. The weak foot checks out because it's pretty consistent. It's not a five-star weak foot like a Ginola or an R9, but it's probably the best if not one of the best four-star weak foots I've used in EFC 24. It's super, super consistent, man. 95 finishing with the four-star weak foot. He bangs it in nine times out of 10. Absolutely amazing. Offensive AI, absolutely amazing. 94 attack position with those high-low work rates, if you guys believe in work rates. Always at the right spot, making those dangerous runs. He's always at the right spot at the right moment and gives us the best opportunity to put those goals, if not create a dangerous chance with the card now the dribbling is just out of this world i was saying in the review that he has the best step overs in the game in my personal opinion he's tied with top two with r9 when it comes to the step overs once you perform a step over with the card it's impossible to catch up with him with any defender i don't care if you have van dyke lucio de Sailly, carlos alberto maldini it's very hard to catch up to him you know and with that rapid on plus that's very nice you know he also has rocket ship on basic, but rapid on plus does very, very good on making the card even faster. And it's very hard to believe that because he already has 99 pace, basically. Physicality is A1, him being six foot with 78 strength. He bodies off CBs easily. He doesn't lose the ball. It doesn't matter which center back we're going against. Obviously, he's not as strong like R9 or Erlen Hallen, but he does really well on holding out to the ball, even when we're going against a big bulky defenders for me this is a must do spc now when i say must do hear me out i've been hearing a lot of people on twitter saying that stay away from this spc because he's too expensive blah 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 for those of you guys that watch my channel you guys know i don't like to bullshit but i'm gonna be completely honest 
if you guys want to perform better in foot champs if you guys want to get more wins in division rivals foot champs whatever the hell you play in efc 24 complete killian mbappe he's gonna make your team and your life you're gonna have a way better experience playing this game now do i recommend completing this spc from scratch fuck no i think you have to have a foundation you have to at least be able to complete the spc at least half of it well not half of it one third of it at least you should be able to complete one third of it with father you know playing division rivals racking up high rated cards packing from rivals rewards foot champs rewards foot champs playoffs rewards grind some squad battles stuff like that right i'm gonna complete them in my rtg i currently have four segments out of the 20 that require the spc done and i'm just gonna be grinding weekend league division rivals and all that stuff and just putting whatever i pack into the mbappe spc i'm not going to be doing any spc for a whole month that's how dedicated i am to doing this mbappe but speaking specifically back to the performance of the card is going to get thumbs up for me obviously and rating wise is going to get a perfect 10 out of 10 and that's actually crazy because i don't usually give cards 10 out of 10s that have four star weak foot but that four star weak foot feels like a 4.5 for me you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys completed this SPC and if you guys think the SPC is worth it to complete it throughout the 30 days that he's going to be available. The next videos that I'm going to be dropping is going to be some player reviews from that new Thunderstruck promo. It looks like a really good promo. It's going to be very hard to pack those cards where you got Neymar, Cantona, Cruyff, Henri, Davis. You got a lot of good cards, but... Are they really packable? We're going to have to see. I'm going to try my best to review the big boys of that promo. You guys know me. I always try my best. But thank you guys once again. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. And I am out. Bye-bye.